little gap in the mouth kind of hot too. It's Hollywood. Last year, we found a top model in Alice Birdo. She's taken the fashion world by storm, wowing them in New York, London and Milan. Now the hunt is on for Australia's next top model. I'm going to cry. We need to shoot it closer. She does look beautiful through her lens. You're too young, you're too short. Okay. Priscilla's modelling agency is hungry for another international success. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes up. Turn your head that way. I just love your freckles. You walk down there, turn around, pose. I think you're really cute, but you're a bit too short. Alex is back. You look expensive, and I really like that. Charlotte's back. You look as empty as Britney Spears' underwear drawer. And I'm back. This is going to be a very tough decision. And we're going to find Australia's next top model. has raised the bar. We could have had five shows with the calibre of girls that were turning up. Okay. There's some serious models in this competition without question. Alice has absolutely done that for the show, so thank you, Alice. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. We're about to take your first step on the journey to becoming Australia's next top model. Wait here until you are called. Get out of the car! I feel like I have the traits um, of a model already. My confidence comes from just the fact that I know that I look good. Oh man, oh. I'm shitting bricks. <laughs> oh. See you, buddy. Jamal's up. I mean, I really wouldn't be here if I didn't think I had a chance. I don't think the judges would have picked me if they didn't think I had a chance. I'm a bit of a dad, so I don't take myself too seriously. Bye. Well, I'm not selling myself, am I? <laughs> Yeah, these cheeks are all glands, I have no chance. <laughs> a lovely time. Good luck. I don't reveal all of myself immediately, so no one can get me. I like to reserve that aspect of mystery. It makes things more interesting. Hi, everyone. I am who I am. I'm clean, I'm sophisticated, I am smart, not just a pretty face. Boy, because you put your legs up like that, but as soon as they put it down... I think I was born to model. <laughs> I love the camera, love walking around, studying my stuff. <laughs> Boy. I don't have a filter between my brain and my mouth. It's like word vomit. It just... Yeah, I'm a very shy person, so it takes me a while to get used to meeting all new people and all that. I think I have the killer instinct. I think I can win this. I think I have the tough skin to do it. Hello, I'm Jamie, everyone. <laughs> My personality would be bubbly, friendly, um, outgoing, down to earth. <laughs> I've done a few magazine shoots and a couple of catwalk shows. I wouldn't say it's extensive modelling experience, but I would say I have more than a lot of the girls in the house. Bye. I love you. I walked into the room and someone said my name. Back! And it was my friend Elise. I just assumed she didn't get in. I thought there was no way we were both going to get in. Yeah, you are a good liar. It was crazy. She always screams, so it was heaps exciting. <laughs> We decided to meet the girls two at a time. You go to a casting, you're going to get judged, you get compared. You have to be confident, you need to make an impression, and you absolutely have to have some style. My name got called to be like, sent to another location with Jamie. <laughs> and we are just like, oh no, like we didn't know what to expect. 
and then we ended up having to like walk through these doors and then it was all like this dark room and smoke and oh <laughs> it was so scary seeing all the judges there and my stomach just dropped I didn't know what to do Hi, I'm Jodie Mears and our two judges, which I'm sure you'll recognise, the wonderful Charlotte Dawson and Alex Perry. And Priscilla Leighton clark my agent, and if you're lucky enough to win Australia's Next Top Model, she'll be your agent too. We're dying to get to know you, so can the girl on the left please come forward? How are you going? I'm good. Good, good. It's good to see you here. Thank you. So tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Leighton. I'm 18. And why do you want to be Australia's Next Top Model? Like, I want my life to just experience it and do something new because I've never been really a girly girl. I just want to bring a new look that I can start a fashion trend of my own. I think Leighton went really well, actually. I was like, damn. <laughs> Because I wanted something, like, I obviously wanted to look better because we were there together, I needed to look better. What do you think that your job would be on a photo shoot? Well, I definitely try my hardest to look pretty for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, well, I'm flexible, I do calisthenics, so I could do a cool, like, few moves for you for yeah. the photos. Yeah. So where would you like to see yourself in modelling in Australia? My ultimate dream, of course, would be Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. yeah. That would be amazing. Well, that's good, honey, because we need to see your body and your walk. Okay. So we need you guys to head out those doors. Okay. Jonathan Pease will be waiting for you. Yeah. And he's going to strip you down into Tiger Lily bikinis. We could get a wriggle on, girls. You've got three minutes. So we quickly ran out and we see Jonathan at the back. Oh, hi. How are you guys going? Jonathan. Good, ladies. Pleasure. Hello. Pleasure. Let's get going. You've got about three minutes okay. into bikinis. Uh, Layden, this is you. Sweet. Let's get right into it. Oh, wow. Hustle, hustle, go, go, go. And I was like, oh my God. So we just had to deck ourselves and put all these babies on so quickly. Now, have you both got flesh colored G's on? No. You oh, don't. God. Turn off from my set without one of these. Okay. Ticket to ride, you don't ride, you don't shoot. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, 10 seconds, let's go. Jamie, come on. Hold on. Chop, 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 go, 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 go. First impression of Jamie was, honey, get on the plane and go back to Adelaide. And then suddenly this girl transformed. Oh, I like you so much better with your clothes off. Yes, so mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, Fantastic body. Jamie's walk is really good. Like, she's insane competition. I'd like to see a prettier walk. Something a little less like... Yeah. If a girl has a tomboyish demeanour, but having a really, really beautiful, chic walk, I think that's really beautiful. Um, when you look like a tomboy, and you walk like a tomboy, and you dress like a tomboy, not so interesting. So I'm going to start with you, Jamie. This is all about body shape and a bit of attitude. Like, I really want to see a bit of sophistication, a bit of arrogance, okay? Yeah, okay. So just, um, yeah, we had to take photos in, like, our swimsuits, and we had ten frames only. Be really careful you don't overdo it, Jamie. Tilt your head back. And do you think that works this same way? Good. Much better. She is so beautiful. You know, she's got the most devastatingly good body. Her oh. face photograph's beautiful. That's she's going to take that down about five notches. Good. Last one. Good. I'm happy with that. I've never done a photo shoot in my life. Well, a proper one anyways. All right, here we go, Layden. I would have suggested, but well done. That's great. Very nice. And again, push it a little bit further, though. Fantastic. No, no. There Just, isn't oh. a good picture there. No. It's like Fabrizio had said, oh, can you imitate a dog giving birth to puppies? Oh. That looked like the direction. She was like... <laughs> <laughs> You're quite mean, Thanks for that. Yeah. 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 When they called Camilla and I, I thought we would meet Jonathan. I had no idea the judges would be there too. Oh, Ella Miller, she's great. She, even her name, she's like something out of a storybook. Like she just has a really interesting beingness. What do you think, if you were on one of my shoots, for example, what, what do you think you could bring to that? Energy. Yeah. And I think a unique look yeah. and the ability to perform. 
Ella Miller's face, to me, she looks a bit like a current bun. She's got those very bright, bright black eyes and this little red mouth. There's something very lovely about it. My name is Camilla. I was born in Poland and I came here 15 years ago. Camilla is most definitely here to win and I think she thinks she's the winner already. I've been accepted into a double degree of law and international business. Fantastic. And I'm Australia's next top model. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And brains. What yeah. a combo. Both Camilla and I had great bodies. And the judges affirmed that. Wow. Killer body, Camilla. Very sexy. She has got Victoria's Secrets written yeah, she's all over fabulous. her. fabulous. Yeah. Camilla's work was all right. I liked her face, so did the judges. And it kind of has a cute pout when it walks, but I don't know what else it can do, really. Nasty. I know this might sound really awful, but God, you look good from behind. <laughs> nice. I don't think it was better than my walk. Nasty. I don't like that. It's weird, she looks like Kirsty Clements. That's she does. Freaking me out. Yes, I agree. That's lovely. Good work. Well done. Here we go. She's actually probably my favourite at the moment, even though she's got this slightly earnest and overbearing edge to her, which is almost creepy. Shoulders to me a little. Lovely. Good. If the judges were inferring that there was something scary behind my eyes, that's kind of cool. There's nothing creepy about her. She's a sweet vegetarian. She's so sweet. She's, creepy. she's Holly bloody hobby. Oh, she's Holly hobby that could be Chucky. Yeah. She's <laughs> not Chucky. Fantastic. Good shape. Very nice. Camilla had the trapdoor mouth, which tended to sort of hang open a bit. She needed to be aware of her face. But yeah, she's dropped in gorgeous. She's beautiful. Very nice. That was a great shape. Oh my God, the gigglers. <laughs> Me and Elise get excited really easy. I remember you two, it's the friends. Everyone was nice, maybe except Charlotte. <laughs> she, she didn't like Becca or me. <laughs> this is so surreal. <sighs> it's all very exciting and you're giggling your guts out and it's all very cute, but I want you to both shut up now and think about why you're really here. And you're here to be Australia's next top model. Yes. Why is that you? I need it. It's my life. I can't do anything other than that. I'll do anything for modelling. I'm going to hold you to that. Kill us. Near us. Victoria Secrets. She's good. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. You're really good. I think you two are possibly the best walkers we've seen today. Yeah. I was kind of a little bit embarrassed because I didn't have the best body because <laughs> I eat takeaway and don't exercise. I call it a student body. It's when they've been studying for, you know, 12 months. So it's all a bit soft. Karis looked so elegant when she was walking and that instantly put the pressure on, like, you knew you had to perform. Demelza absolutely gorgeous. She's like modern day Veronica Lake. She looks like a 1950s movie star. Beautiful. Okay, there is something that I need to address with, with both of you. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the artist Botticelli? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, feminine, soft women. Because you're more jelly botty. Yeah. Unfortunately at the moment. There ain't nothing wrong with that, but when you go to a casting, you'll be given a size 8 pant to, to put on, and you just have to fit it. Alex came down and um, he measured both D and I. So you're smaller than an 8 in your waist? Yeah, the top's tiny. Yeah. But yeah, beautiful but curves, over you, you really On do. the bottom, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. the same. Whereas a size 8 is like a 36 and a half in the bottom. You're a 38 and you're a 40. So you need to like, whoosh, waist up, perfect waist down, just got to do a little bit of work, otherwise you won't fit the clothes, and if you don't fit the clothes, you don't get the job, and that's really sad. Oh, my first impressions of Belinda, she's such a little, gorgeous little geek. I don't reckon there's enough kind of 
everyone's fo still focusing on the fact that it's gone through the, oh my God, we don't want that skinny, emaciated, pathetic looking people that look just anorexic, sorry. And they're looking at me like I'm completely loony. Just fruity, I think. <laughs> like, did, that didn't come out right, did it? <laughs> I've got no doubt that you belong in this competition, but you've got quite a long way to go. <laughs> I really felt for Emma. She looked so uncomfortable in this competition. Do you think you're beautiful? Oh, I wouldn't, I don't know. I'd say it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? The answer to that question is yes. Yes, I am beautiful. You need to be able to say that because yes, if you I don't, if you don't think that, then why on earth would I pay you money if you don't think that you're beautiful to do something for me? Christy was just perfect. Christy has an amazing body and an amazing walk. Christy is definitely a front runner in this competition. <laughs> it's kind of worried because I had bad tan lines on my bottom. <laughs> She's a pro. You're a pro. You have a perfect walk. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Belinda's walk, well, you know, no surprises there. I want you to really strut it. I know fashion's not your thing, but just give it your best shot. <laughs> We're going to make you walk up and down and up and down and up and down until you're as comfortable on that catwalk as you are on the back of your horse. She's worn heels five times in her life. I think that's really strange. You know, she gave it a best shot, and I'm sure that she'll get better at it, but it was appalling. I mean, let's not make any bones about it. OK, you got a couple of people to teach tonight, I think, <laughs> darling. Strap those on your feet and don't take them off. Yes, you're with the others. When my name got called out, I was actually asleep on the lounge. So, because I was reading a book and that makes me tired. Had to wake up really fast, walked straight in the room and the judges were there and I was like, focus on the judges, this is it, this is the moment. Miss Fashion, Miss Fashionista, we have ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, a real fashionista. Ooh, there's a heel, Alex. There's a walk too. Hello. Alex went really well in her interview, actually. She just aced it and like, you can tell she knows her stuff. I do like fashion and look overseas a lot more than toward Australian designers. Um, my favourite designer in Australia is probably Josh Goo. Um, overseas, um, Jeremy Scott definitely because it's so theatrical and I think also Burberry because it's a classic. I was almost going to ask for a dustpan and brush to pick up those good fashion names that she was dropping. When Samantha went up to meet the judges, um, she seemed very nervous. You could tell it, her voice shivered a little. Hi, I'm Sam, Samantha. <laughs> she answered the questions okay. I, I wouldn't have answered the designers that she answered because it was quite predictable. Samantha's beautiful, exotic, with those beautiful pale eyes. Samantha was gorgeous. I'm not sure she's strong enough to win this competition. So here's where it all came crashing down, because if you talk the talk, you're going to have to follow through with walking the walk. And I thought that Alexandra would pummel down that runway with real confidence. She needs work. Alexandra's walk was, you know, it was wonky. It was like she was walking on a slant. It was sort of strange. Beautiful body. Both had beautiful bodies. She looks like she's going to tip over. Yeah. It's, it's an unusual thing, it's, and I'm not quite sure what it is. You, to me, look like a model until you try and walk. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to really concentrate on because your look is very model. Charlotte asked us um, a question. Um, pick five things that, why you are better than the other girl at modelling. I'm taller, I'm whiter. Uh, I have longer legs. I have better style. I think that Alexandra, because she's so fashion forward, believes that the pale thing is in. I'm Kate Blanchett, I'm Nicole Kidman, and you're dark, and that's a bit yesterday. That's where I think that comment came from. But boy, did it come across as really offensive, yes. And that's what you've got to be careful of. Sam, five reasons why you're better than her. Um, I have darker skin colour. I have a nationality that comes out in me. Uh, my eyes stand out. Um, my hair's pretty. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, I have a great smile. That question was definitely hard. It just got chucked at us and 
to think of why you're better than someone else is not an easy question. No, I didn't have a problem with it at all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks ladies. We'll see you a bit later. Yeah. Alexandra's a girl that has an enormous amount of potential, but I think what's going to hold her up is that she thinks she's probably better than she is. I found it quite disturbing that she was so into Josh Good. Did you? Yeah. Why? Not into you and I. Not into me. Yeah. Girls, what a long day that was. How are you feeling? Tired. Yeah? Today, I hope you impress the judges, because next time you see them, it's elimination time, and one of you is going home. All right, girls, you've earned it. Well done today. Head off to the new model house. Yeah. Coming up, Alan Mella goes ninja. <laughs> and the claws come out. Not angry. We arrived at the house and it was just epic. It was two amazing best house ever. The pictures of Jodie, that's what caught my eye first. You know, I'm like, I shotgun one of them, I'm taking that home. It was so good, just walking through, you'd see one thing and be like, oh my god. See another thing, and be like, oh my god. I think that was the word coming out of everybody's mouth. I'm not oh using my... these, so I'm oh. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there's just more and more around the corner and they had like the gym, the diary room, and then we went out and saw the pool. The pool is amazing. Do we go and check the room? And then everyone's running around and looking for their rooms and trying to figure out who's going to be in what room. The room split. 18-year-olds that way. Oh my God, look at all that Under 18s that way. I was so stoked for that. We have so many presents. On our beds with all these wonderful products, bags and bags of goodies. Oh, I was really shocked that we got gifts. I wasn't expecting anything. It was really overwhelming. <gasps> we got jeans. Oh my God. All of the girls were going spastic. Look, I got the makeup. I got tons of stuff. Oh my Lord. I love them. I want everyone's shoes. I'm going to steal them but it made you just feel like you shouldn't have packed half the things you packed because now it's just nothing compared to all these new things. These. You chick. I was over the moon. It was like Christmas or my birthday. It was a very nice way to end the day. We got a Jody mail this morning, which told us to write down five of our own rules for the house. To make your time here as enjoyable as possible, you need to work out and agree on some sensible rules of conduct while you live in the house. I've already included mine on the schoolroom wall. You need to add five more, Jodie. There are some stronger personalities in the house. Um, I guess someone like Demelza or Beck, they're a lot louder, they say what they feel. Okay, um, I think we should have one just to make sure that everyone cleans up after themselves. I am a control freak. I'm a neat freak. I just like things to be in order. If one of us is cooking for everybody, I think everyone needs to help clean up yeah. too. I don't like Alamella. Don't like her at all. She doesn't look like a model. She just looks like a girl that goes home and reads. It's a house full of 13 girls and bitchiness is surely to happen. Um, I think we all need to be mindful about how much time we spend in the bathroom and that Like, if I was at home, like, Beck, I wouldn't go near with a 10-foot pole. If someone says, like, you're ugly and you're an ugly bitch, like, you can, you can cry. But, um, like, we should be able to critique you and you shouldn't, like, get upset about it because we're just trying to help you. Beck's just one of those people that will either be your lover or you'll hate her. <laughs> Don't be bitchy. And I'm lucky that I love her. Uh, don't touch other people's things without asking. Yeah. The biggest bitch in the house would probably have to be Alex at the moment. Respect uh, that people want to go to bed at a certain time and just make sure that you're not being too loud. Well, Lisa hasn't really done anything huge. She's just showing me a bit of attitude and doesn't... She doesn't look me in the eyes when she speaks to me at all. Love heart man and that's it. No, we won't stick to the rules at all. I'll break them straight away. 
Um, I was in the kitchen with Jamie and we were washing up and um, everyone started screaming that when I turned around and the telly started popping up. And the TV came out from the bench top and it was very Charlie's Angels, really. Secret agent, you're doing a job. It wasn't an envelope, it was very exciting. Hello, ladies. Oh, hello. Make sure you get a good night's sleep because tomorrow is your first challenge. I can tell you what it is, but I'd have to kill you. No. Oh, that is so a clue. It is. It is. It is. It is. When we turned up at the big sound stage, it was pretty evident that we weren't going to do just an average photo shoot. It was going to be a big deal. When we walked inside, it was enormous. It was like a little overwhelming thinking what could happen there. Morning, girls. Morning. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to Travis Keneally, Fox 8's creative director. Hello. Hi. Today, we are shooting the Australia's Next Top Model promo. Yeah. Trav, let us know what's going on today. Well, today we're doing a spy theme. <gasps> yes. So think of any uh, spy film you've ever seen and all those wonderful female characters in the films are femme fatales. We're doing some pretty crazy stuff. You might be in outfits you're not very comfortable in. You might be asked to do a few things that you're not really comfortable doing. Please put your trust in us. We're going to make you look good. It's our job, OK? Everyone kind of seemed well suited to whatever role they had. Jamie, Spear Fisherwoman. <laughs> Rebecca, Jungle Girl. Samantha, motorbike racing driver. Oh, the rich heiress. Astronaut. Russian spy. Roller disco girl. Scientist. Adventure girl. Ski girl. Pilot navy captain. Ninja girl. Hello, GI Jane. Right, ladies, into hair and makeup. really happy with my jungle girl character. I have something to say to you, something to tell you about today. What? Uh, you're going to be modelling with a snake. Are you serious? Yeah. Quite a big snake. I freaked out a little bit. <laughs> I don't like snakes at all. Really? No. <laughs> It'll be so hot. Here. <laughs> she's ready. When the snake trainer first put the snake on me, it was so heavy. Yeah. Felt like I was going to fall over because I think it was 20 kilos. Hold on to me. Well done, girl. That's it. Oh, my God. That's quite an interesting sensation, probably, in moving around. But I want to scream, but I can't because I think you're fine. His face kept coming near my face and licking me, and that was scaring me heaps. But when I got used to it, it started colouring me really nicely, and I started to like it more. Oh my god, my boyfriend is going to be so proud of me. Very brave, Beck. Oh Rebecca started really well, but it really took its toll. You don't mind holding on to your leg? That's okay. No, that's comfortable. <laughs> okay. You can tell the snake and all the direction, and there are a couple of different moves she had to do. Didn't quite happen for me. Three, two, one, action. Not enough looks. Not enough looks. I mean, it was a it was a nine foot nineteen kilo snake, and she had to choreograph holding on, stepping off, and the snake. So, cut. She did pretty well, but um, I would have liked to have done it quicker. And I think if we had a model with more experience, we would have done it a lot quicker. I love it. I feel like Britney, but before she was on crack. <laughs> yep. Standing by. Emma, we had this great shot. We had this umbrella, the strobe lights, and everything. And she's landing, and it looked like a potato had been dropped. Oh. Energize them, let's get some energy. The most difficult part about it was definitely like the landing, because I had to land like with my foot out a certain way. Camera and action. And cut. Is that working? Three, two, one, and action. Oh, Looking around, keep going. Ready. And what do you say? Cut. She just lets me down. There's nothing happening. I can't do it for her. I can't stick my hand up the back of her and make it happen. 
Okay, we're gonna do really sexy. Good girl. Okay, action, look around, look around, that's great. And then that's great. Cut, thank you. She looks good. <laughs> it's just the acting. Linda, I thought, uh-oh. She kind of, when I've been talking to her around the set, I'm thinking, what are we in for with this girl? I don't know where she's going. <laughs> so she was rehearsing all day, you know, going up and down and in the rig. I spent so long trying to get that right. I felt so sorry for the guy picking me up. Come Jimbo. <laughs> this doesn't lose its effect. Who knew this could be so much fun, Melinda? Oh, being me is always fun. We need a bit more speed. I think she's going to make us run over. At the end of the day, there's nothing short and sharp about Belinda. Two, one, action. And land. Looking around, great. And cut. And then they ended up changing it anyway, and it was so much easier. That was perfect. It was very bloody good. Wasn't it? Although she was a little bit light and airy and didn't seem to be listening, when we were rolling, she got it, which was really surprising. Sliding, sliding, and land. That's it, looking around, looking around, more movement. And jump at the end. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Ah, perfect. Oh my god, that kills me. Well done. Right. Ah, really good oh, job, babe. It wasn't as tough as that. Really? Just take a compliment while I give it, babe, you know? Could be your last. <laughs> you can be quite focused when you want to be, can't you? Yeah. You don't always have to be kooky, right? Kooky is my boredom thing. Like, when I get bored, I get weirder and weirder and weirder. Like, How much longer do you reckon we've got to go in the kookiness before you get over it? A week, maybe. A week. <laughs> lose the glasses, lose the kook, you could win. <laughs> I'm surrounded by confidence. I mean, Belle gets teased a lot, so does Ella Mella, but I don't know if... I mean, they both seem pretty okay with everything. Belle's kind of just laughing it off, and Ella Mella, I think the bitchiness affects her a bit, but she thinks she's fantastic, so... I think she's going to get by okay. She sounds British. Like, oh, please, I want to go and do that. Uh -oh. well, I need you to basically just go, ha, ha. Okay. I got ninja school girl. <laughs> I had to hold a mascara brush and pretend I was fighting people. Like <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> I'm not very aggressive, so I found that difficult, and um, the mascara brush was huge and I couldn't hold on to it. Okay, oh, yeah, oh, big stick. <laughs> And action! That's not angry. It's like... I mean, all I asked her to do was scream and she couldn't do that. Ah! Just do a scream for me. Ah! And I just wanted to go up and slap her and tell her to scream because really, you know, it's not that hard. Ah! Ah! I've never had to go hot before. Ah! We'll cut it up in the edit because that'll work. Three, two, one, action! Alamella's got to learn to let it go. Ah! If someone says, give it to me, she's got to go bang, not bang. Only one or two more shots to go, so really own it now. Action! Ah! Cut. Great. Yay! We spent so much filming her. Next, out of the blue, oh, the ski bunny stack. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> With the silhouettes, we were all had to run across the screen and get into character. The blue screen went down onto the floor and it was kind of like material. And we had to run across it and I had to roll across it in roller skates. And I was the last girl and it was really hard to get the roller skates moving on the material. Everyone else had to do it again because I stopped in the middle because my skates weren't rolling. I was kind of a little bit upset and all of a sudden we just had a big bash and crash. Hold it. And action. Hold it more, hold it more. Oh! Cut. <laughs> Belle had a little tumble off the stage. <laughs> hold it more, hold it more. Oh! Cut. It was quite funny. <laughs> you all right? 
She fell in the oh. the pool. I hate to be mean, but that makes me feel a lot better now. <laughs> as much as I feel bad for the poor thing, it was hilarious. And I'm not going to lie, we all had a little giggle. Oh, it is funny. She, she doesn't have the glasses. I don't <laughs> the girls think I'm a freak. You're such a trooper. You're no, awesome. well, like, I don't even have any graces. <laughs> it didn't bother me. I've fallen over a lot in my lifetime, so... It just happens. <laughs> Trust nobody. <laughs> Not even myself. Um, I think I... Shiny, just go, just go. Elise was annoying me, but I'm kind of just getting used to her little quirks. And I'm just not used to being someone with someone who is an adult but actually speaks like a baby. I just find I have to leave conversations with her because I can't, can't put up with her speaking, saying wewo and whatever her boyfriend's name is. Alabella or Alan. I don't know. Lallan. Lallan. The fuck is Lallan? I don't want to offend anyone. Oh, she oh, last said night so she was mean in the to wardrobe me. with Karis and they were talking about how... Um, their weight had fluctuated or something and they'd, they'd put up? on weight I've and they'd lost weight. Oh, right. And then um, she said to Karis, oh, how big were you at your biggest? And I didn't hear what Karis said. And then Karis said, oh, what about you? And she said, oh, at my biggest, I was a size 10. And Jamie yelled out, I'm a size 10. And then I yelled out, I'm a size 10. And she goes, oh, yes. A size 10 is just so big for me. Like, she says it in a really snooty remark, too. She's like, that's why she, she suited, that's why she suited, like, the, the rich bitch. We're running out of time. Yep. So I'm hoping, I'm really betting yep. on you being yep. perfect and getting this done very quickly. Okay. The pressure was on Elise from the director and from me. You ready for it? Oh, One yeah. take, Elise. One take. My heart like just stopped. I was like, oh god, he's gonna hate me. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one, and wind and action. And cut. Nailed. Matt. She's good. Okay. Matt. Let's do our close-up. You nailed it. Well done. <laughs> it was awesome. I was so excited. They're like, yep, that's it. Elise had to lay in a rather awkward position and pull off a few awkward manoeuvres. She did it all very well. And action! Well, I was really impressed with the way she just kept the routine going over and over. Nailed. Cut. She delivered the same action every time. That's great. Well done. <laughs> that was absolutely spot on. I give well you done. Five, but you know what? We never did a second take for her. So she rocked. It's a cool outfit, though. I like it. And I think Elise did a great job, don't get me wrong, but um, just the directions that she had, that was fairly easy compared to some of the rest of us. So you're an astronaut girl? Yeah. What are you going to bring to that role? Well, I think I have to express that I'm there to take over the universe and, like, the world does actually revolve around me. <laughs> I was so lucky because I think I got the coolest outfit ever. I have the jet pack and the helmet that lit up. Her body's going to be an ongoing issue. It may just be the moon and the stars tonight up there as an astronaut, unfortunately. Or maybe astronaut. Oh, nasty. Three, two, one, camera, action. All right, stand by to rehearse. Three, two, one, falling. Action, doubles, that's great. Action. Cut. Go, 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 go. That's good. Another one. That's pretty good. I like that. That's great. Run. That's good. Action. Look down. That's great. And let's do it. Really elegant. And action. Very nice. Thank you. Camera. And action. Cut. Thank you. Now, overall, the promo shoot was a great success. Feel like cousin it. I mean, some of the other years we had tantrums and we had tears and we had chaos going on. And today, I mean, there was a little bit of that, but it wasn't too hard. It was, that, once we got them on set, they were keen. But they did a pretty good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, all the crew. That's a wrap. We've done the entire promo. Yay! Yay! Superstar! <laughs> Um, at the end of the night, we had to all get together again and talk to Jonathan. Now, girls, not only was this a promo, it was also your first challenge. <laughs> and the prize, it's the first time ever on this show, and it's something truly priceless. Oh, shit. 
and there was a big pause and we're all like, oh, tell us. The person who wins today wins exemption from elimination this week. What? Um, wow. I think everyone's starting to feel the pressure and exemption is looking pretty good at the moment. So the winner for today's challenge, with a bullet, Elise. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Yeah, I did it in one take. No one else did that. I suppose I was pretty good. The bitch kateers, they call themselves. Um, Beck, Demelza and Elise. <laughs> entertain themselves with the most trivial subjects. <laughs> Someone in the other room has clearly broken the rule of and shut the toilet. toilet. Oh, I went upstairs to go to the toilet and it smelt in there and there is a rule. You're not allowed to go to the toilet and do number two in any of the upstairs bathrooms. It's actually all in there. <gasps> so, <laughs> Dee decided to wake up Belle in the middle of the night and ask her if it was her. <laughs> Don't you <know. laughs> She's like, no. I was like, well, I don't believe you. Oh, don't place the blame. No, that bugs me. So are we going to find out who it was? Yeah, I want to go wake out Lamella up and ask her if she's born. I heard them kind of come into my room, but that didn't wake me up too much. I didn't really mind. But then they started pulling my leg. And it was hard not to notice that, so oh, that woke me up. Yeah, it's like you're <laughs> trying to drag me off the bed or something. Yeah. Oh. There's definitely a separation between myself and the Beck kind of group. That was the funniest last night, though. <laughs> Jody Bell! Yeah. I just, I'm not interested in their conversations. I'd rather read New Scientist. Thing which is bothering me. Next. Bloody tan lines. Slip, slop, slaps. Here. Not good. Naughty. <laughs> it's so not Vogue. Guys, I got Jenny Mail! <laughs> okay. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Oh. Anonymous. Tomorrow you will need to impress the best. Oy. And we had no idea what it was about. Like they tripped me out so much. So we've never met the person just before. Impressed, so impressed, probably yeah, the best. Yeah, the best something judge. that they do. I thought it was Anne Thorpe, and I thought it was a Miranda Kerr, and I think my mind just <laughs> wanders a bit. <laughs> Ladies, I hope you have slept well and you're ready to perform. Because today, we are working for Vogue. I was completely shocked. Everyone was absolutely packing themselves. I was like, oh my god, it's for Vogue. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to world-renowned photographer and one of Vogue's favourite sons, Jason Capobianco. Morning, girls. How are you? Now, ladies, you're going to be wearing Colette Dinigan's new collection. I'm very familiar with Colette Dinigan's clothes. Uh, it's very feminine, nice lines, um, great material. No, I've never bought her stuff and I probably wouldn't. It's too old for me. And you'll be scrutinised, your every move, by Kirsty Clements, fashion powerhouse and editor-in-chief of Vogue Australia. Oh, my God. Vogue magazine pages are reserved for the absolute elite. Today, we're actually not shooting for Vogue magazine. We're shooting for the Vogue website. And to be honest, this is as close as most of you will ever get to working for Vogue. Well, this is a highly unusual situation that uh, there would be a Vogue shoot with that many amateurs all at once. And I have to admit, when I first saw them, I thought it was quite a motley crew. So, ladies, Kirsty Clements. Hi. And star director, Tori Collison. Hello. Hi. When we saw Kirsty, it was a little bit intimidating. She kind of gave us a once over with her eyes, checking us all out, which kind of scared me. Well, what we're going to do today is a group shot with all of the girls. Mm. But what we're looking for is not for anybody to overshadow anybody else. No posing, no overacting, no dramatics. It's really about having a presence, having an inner beauty that comes out. And um, I think we'll find that pretty much straight away we'll discover that. All right. Good Let's luck, do girls. it. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. 
we did have a few issues today on set with the girls turning up with tan lines. I mean, you shouldn't be getting a tan full stop if you're a model. These bloody tan lines. I know. Have a look at it. I know. Look, look, here. Not good. <laughs> naughty. Yes. Very naughty. Mm. The makeup artists will always tan you on a shoot. You don't need to tan yourself beforehand. They'll, yep. they'll fake it. It's not healthy anyway. Going with that tanning, I'd be white. I'd feel, I'd feel bad. Like I'd feel fatter. Being brown just makes me feel better about myself. So that would be hard, not being able to Very lay in the sun. Mm. Won't be doing we'll it again. some more of Napoleon's time to get yeah. that fixed. There was band-aids, there was bruises, and the girls that were dressing them were like commenting on how many band-aids there were. I don't know what they're doing, but... <laughs> Jumping castle incident. <laughs> Before shoot. Ah, <laughs> oh, delicious. Yeah, we had a couple of problems with a few of the girls' bodies just to work out which of the shape was going to suit their body the best. <laughs> I've got really broad yeah. shoulders. Okay, off. Layden does have this quite broad shoulders and oh, some yeah. of the prettier looks from Colette just didn't work, so that more streamlined dress worked on her. Worked the best. Are we thinking Grecian or Gladiator? Oh, Grecian. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, you know, I better, like, I hope she doesn't think I'm fat because I didn't fit in the other dresses. The dress fitted her and it's probably a sample size 10. She could even care. Mm, yeah, she does. I know. It was kind of intimidating coming out to show Jonathan and Kirsty out my outfit. You know, that, that, that yeah. suits you, it does. Yeah. It's very sweet mm -hmm. with your bracelet. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Very nice. All right, thank you. Confidence booster. <laughs> it was nice. Yeah, it was good. She feels quite passionate to do it for people with braces. Okay. Bad <laughs> skin. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> During the photo shoot, Belinda walked up to um, Kirsty Clements and had a chat with her. I'm kind of over living with a bunch of girls. I hang out with all the guys, ten girls. She was very charming. She just had a kookiness that was very appealing, and I, I think that that does add another layer to a model. How long have you been in the house? Uh, a week. Oh, How long have they stayed in the house? A lot longer than oh, that. La la. A lot longer than that. <laughs> yeah, you have to turn up that patience, Norm. <laughs> I thought she was really an interesting prospect after that. She did really well, because all of us were a bit intimidated by her. Yeah, she's lovely. But Belle speaks to anybody, so that was more luck than, you know, intelligence. Coming up... Are you dense? True confessions. Honestly, the only person I think about is me. I just want, I just want, I just want a little bit more. Okay, shuffle in, find a spot where you feel comfortable and then we can sort of start looking. I let them choose their own poses in the beginning just to see who had it and who didn't. We can get someone sitting on that front box in there. The shot was set up with ladders and chairs and we all had to kind of fall into an elegant pose. Thus is the way of Vogue. It's all very classy. It was hilarious today. When the girls were asked to position themselves, surprise, surprise, the arrogant bitch crew were in the front. That's fine. But you know what? If you're going to sit in the front, make sure you own it. You all look amazing, so it's, now it's up to you guys to kind of give us that last little bit that takes it over the edge. So it's a very classic picture. It's all about being graceful. It's delicate, no dead hands. It's all about your expression and your face on this one. So let's give it a go. See what happens. All right. All there. OK, now let's sort of... Initially, I could see Alamella, Christy and Demelza. They're the three who sort of started on their own. They knew what was expected of them and just began. That made my job a whole lot easier. Little shifts here and there. Everyone find a new spot each time. Great, girls. Keep shuffling. A little bit of movement in each one and go back to your position again. Good. Hold there. Great. Understandably, they're nervous and there was a lot of pressure on them today. And some of them lifted the bar and some of them didn't make it to that point. Keep shuffling. Ems, are you with us today? Yeah. Okay, I, I want to feel your presence right now. You're kind of hanging out at the pool. Yeah. Hanging out at the pool. With Emma, of course, the height is great and she's got those endless long legs. Good. But she just doesn't know how to work it. Right. Or she doesn't feel to me that she wants to work it. It didn't feel like she... she wanted to be here. 
looking good, girls. Keep that energy. I need a little sparkle in your eye. That's the thing that's going to make you stand out. Camilla worked well. She's very, very pretty. But she's boring. When you're looking at a really wonderful fashion picture, it has to evoke some sort of emotion. And I'm afraid she's very flat. Camilla looks like this model that I kind of think is really amazing. And so I'm sort of still like looking at her going, why doesn't she perform? But she wasn't giving a whole lot. A little bit of a lean here and there. It's all about your shoulders. It's all about the way you sort of move through here. Good. Belinda was really hit and miss. When she was on, she was beautiful. When she was off, she was off. <laughs> Belle, can you keep your legs together, babe? <laughs> that means knees touching. Belinda was my favourite today. She's got quite a modern look that's quite of the moment. She has this kind of offbeat sexiness. So slightly protruding teeth and the fact that she looks like she's going to walk into a wall. But it's got huge potential. Good, girls. Really nice. Beautiful. Make it really nice and dramatic. Give us sort of a feeling of something. Good. I think Karis did have something really amazing in her look and in her presence, but she wasn't selling it to me today, which is a shame. That's it. Great, girls. I think one to watch, actually. Dark horse. Really nice. Perfect. That's it. Layden was a real surprise to me today. She was throwing those poses, but they were great. It's practically not a bad frame of her. I'm up a little. Yep. Good. When she walked in, wouldn't have picked it, but then when I saw her in there, she was definitely one of the standouts. Great. Better. I think I've done that photo shoot. I showed all these long hair bitches. I'm in the game now. Thanks, girls. That's it. You're done. It was fantastic. Thank you all. Thank you. At the end of the day, we had a Jody mail. Before I leave, I have something to hand to you, which is Jody mail. So Kirsty had it in her hand and was like, who wants to read it, who wants to read it? And I put up my hand because I wanted to read it. Dumb idea. Now, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Winston Churchill or something. <laughs> Just that guy. Just that guy. <laughs> didn't know who Winston Churchill was. <laughs> Churchill! Okay, Churchill! I don't even know. Isn't he, um... I'm not answering. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who Winston Churchill is. Winston Churchill is a famous philosopher. No idea. At least I know how to say his name, though. <laughs> the house meeting was called um, because <clears throat> a few people wanted to talk about their problems and the rules we've made. I think people should try and stop being rude about people's clothes sizes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think a size 10 is fat. That's all. There were a couple of girls in the house that have just felt a little bit offended recently by some of the things that Alex has been saying. I know you didn't mean it in an offensive way because you were talking about your body, but when you say I felt really fat as a size 10, it makes other people in the house that are size 10 now feel that you think we're fat and make us feel that we're bigger than everyone else here. Honestly, the only person I think about is me, and I'm sure all of you are doing exactly the same thing. I just had to have my two cents worth because it did offend me. Why do I need to apologise for an opinion? I wouldn't have said, any oh, I wouldn't have said anything if I wasn't offended by it. You know what I mean? Okay. But I've just apologised now. I know, okay. but I don't worry. Okay. Okay, oh, yeah. so apologies. Are you dense? You know, she apologised and said that that's her opinion and we all have our own opinions and I guess my opinion is that I don't like that opinion. So. And also, the thing about clothes from Bali smell like crap but that's quality or whatever. Small. That's another thing, is my opinion. But who cares? Do you even know where all of your clothes are made from? Who cares? They're clothes. Like, we wear them. Like, that's really rude. It's like the inside of clothes because I know where they're made and I like the quality of where they're made. And if someone has a problem, I didn't realise that it was a direct attack because I didn't know she bought all her clothes from Bali. The things that I enjoy and the things that I like in life, not everyone does. Like, say, fashion. More people like shopping at Westfields and big shopping centres, and I, I don't like that. 
so I couldn't really talk to people in the house about, oh, I want to go to this shop to buy this label because they don't have never heard of the label and they don't understand. So there's just no point in breaching those conversations, so I just distanced myself. How do I say that clothes from different countries smell cheap and smell like they're crap? The quality, quality is not as good. Oh, why did you have to do that? I just don't like um, people that try to put somebody down to make themselves feel better. I just think that's really weak. Feeling like it's one of the things where it's making people feel less of themselves by the way that she's. I apologise because I know I do it and I do it to other people, and I'm sorry that I'm rude to you because of the way I speak. Because I probably look down my nose at you, and that's the truth, and I'm happily, readily to admit it. Well, thank you. That's it. That but the thing is, I'm not just going to change overnight, and maybe in here I'll help myself work it out. But at the moment, that's who I am. And for the part, for the first four days of the house I wasn't really who I was and now I'm who I am and I'm sorry and I'll try and mind my mouth and I hope that keeps everyone happy. Alex has um, accepted that she's a bitch and has openly said that she looks down her nose at people um, and you know fair enough if she wants to get a name for herself as being that then that's fine. I'm happy for her to do that just as long as I have nothing to do with her. A little bit more. Still to come. Hi girls. It's Judgment Day. It's Herman Monster. It's just, there's a couple of bolts in her neck. Yeah, is my hair up enough? Do I look something about Mary yet? Oh, I'm not really nervous about seeing the judges again. No, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I sing when I get nervous. I'm nervous. I just find it random and strange. I don't think I'm safe, but it's so difficult to know what the judges are looking for. We're all quite nervous about the elimination. I mean, I'd be sad if I left, but at the same time, I'd be kind of happy because I get to see my family. I'm feeling nervous, of course I am. I think everyone in the house is, even Elise is, and she's exempt from elimination. Hi, girls. This week, we wanted to see if you have what it takes to succeed in this business, because it truly is survival of the fittest in this game. In 11 weeks, one of you will be going home with a load of amazing prizes. Let's have a closer look. The winner of Australia's Next Top Model will be represented for 12 months by Priscilla's, Australia's premier modelling agency, with an all expenses paid trip to New York to meet with top international agencies. They'll become the face of Australia's leading cosmetics brand, Napoleon Purtis, for 12 months, which includes an international photo shoot. They'll win a sexy Ford Fiesta Z-Tech and feature in an exclusive eight-page editorial for Vogue Australia. So now, let's introduce you to our regular judges. First up, the lady who can tell you everything you should and shouldn't do to make it in the modelling world, Charlotte Dawson. And the man who could make or break you in the fashion world, the fabulous Alex Perry. Our guest judges this week, the amazing Kirsty Clements, and somebody who will be able to fill us in on all the goings on in this week's photo shoot, Jason Capabianco. Okay. Let's get down to business. We'd like you guys to come forward individually and tell us who you think the top three contenders to become Australia's next top model are and why. Okay, let's start with Alamella. The rest of you, can you please go and wait outside? Alamella, your verdict, please. I think the top contenders are myself, 
Christy and Layden. One would definitely be myself. Um, first of all, I'm going to say myself. Me. Um, myself. I also think that Christy. 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 You look at her and you could, like, you can see a model straight away. Christy, I think, fits really well into the Australian market. Mm -hmm. Um, she also has great bone cheeks. Cheekbones, sorry. <laughs> bone cheeks, <laughs> bone cheeks. Love your bone cheeks. I'm rehearsing eating my head too many times. Emma. It's Emma. Um, I'll say Elise. Elise. I think I really am versatile and I really have the passion and the love to do it and I, I can't even express that enough. Do you know what, I, what really excites me about that? That you didn't say your best friend. Yeah, I was about to say you turned on Beck. We're telling Beck. <laughs> Um, Alamella. You're the first person that stood in front of us and hasn't mentioned yourself. Well, I, at the moment I would not pop, put myself in the top three just because I'm still learning. Alamella, let's have a look at your photograph. What do you think? I love the photo. But Alamella has that beautiful ballet, dances, poise as well, that incredible posture. And <laughs> June Daly Watkins, we were saying, but that lovely straight back and I, you know, you'll keep that for life, it's gorgeous. I'd like to see you let go. I have a feeling there's something about you that you're either hiding from us, which is quite nice, or could be a bit creepy, I don't know, but it's quite exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. I love it. What I, I like about beautiful. you is you were as energetic as from the first frame till the end. You didn't <gasps> kind of stop working the whole way, which was really so nice. So. I could cry. Do you know, if I had one comment, it would be just maybe to relax your mouth slightly. There's something almost... Snarl. It's a little bit mongrelly in the mouth. So, Samantha, what's your verdict? I don't really like it that much. Really? really? Yeah, the sparkle that's in your eyes now sort of was maybe missing from there. So, Layden, what is your verdict? I don't even look like me. Oh, I look a bit cockeyed. <laughs> <laughs> For me, you are probably the most professional out of all the girls. Really? Yep. You know how good that is to hear? Because <laughs> when I found out that you were our, you know, the person in charge that day, I, my mouth dropped and I thought, you know, you're, you're going to be the first one to see through me that you're not a model, you know why you're here. But I'm so happy that no, you thought that. On the contrary, Lane, and I think you really, really rose to the occasion and was, you were really professional. How do, you, how do you think you went? I think I went very well. The trap door. The old trap door. See the old trap door hanging open? Yeah. Dusty old trap door needs to sh slam shut, that does. That's that catalogue. That's not editorial. Karis, what do you think now? I like it. I think that's an amazing picture of you. <coughs> I think oh. it's really beautiful and you look modern and strong and your hair looks amazing. Mm. Um, and you've probably got one of the most relaxed faces out of all the girls in, in that shoot. The, the only thing that you need to, to become a little bit more athletic, I think. Yeah, definitely. I, I've been to the gym five out of seven times this week. Right. So, Rebecca, your verdict, please. I love it. I love it heaps. There's no strength in that position, or it's like you've got this pole pot position, and you could have just completely yeah. blown the other girls out of the water, but you didn't, unfortunately. This is a beautiful shot of your face, though, Rebecca. Thank you. What do you think, Emma? Um, I've never seen a photo of me before, because I've never done modeling before, so it's first to see myself. Yeah, Emma, if you look at the other girls around you, sort of all of them are putting in you know, a big effort. And it seems like where you're standing, there's a bit of a hole in the energy. I look good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing, Belinda. I think you probably have one of the most adaptable faces in the competition. And, and I know this sounds odd, but probably one of the sexiest girls in the competition in a, in a, in a, a cute, kooky way. And uh, I really want to see more from you. What you need to do, though, is you need to focus two, two ways, literally with your eyes. You're obviously flying blind in that shot. In the photo shoot I was trying to see you and yeah. not like because I couldn't actually place where the camera was because it was all dark to yeah. me and so I was just kind of going well he's here at the front the camera must be kind of <laughs> in this area. All right well lenses yeah. and heels and we're, we're, yeah. we're gonna move forward. What do you think? Nice. I like it. You're going to have to edgy it up. You know, if I, if I, the first thing I'd do if I was you would be lose the tan. You're very gold. I'll be really blunt. You can look really cheap or you can look really expensive. Okay. What do you think? I think I look quite comfortable. Your legs look kick-ass. I like your kick-ass. <laughs> I like your, I like your, I mean, I've liked your attitude today. You're so, you 
cocky confident, which I quite sort of, I think that's cute. It's endearing because you do it with a smile. But there you've got that lovely air of confidence and elegance. Okay, Christy. I think we look amazing. You're all carrying this tightness in your mouth and you're doing these, like that slight, like that's something, there's axe murderer going on there. <laughs> do you know? That's it. My axe out. There. Yeah, it's like, uh, that scares me a little bit. What do you think? I like it. I really it's, like it. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen myself look like that, so, oh my God, I think I might cry. <laughs> There's something cinematic about that, which I think is, is great. You look older than what you are, but not old. Yeah. Um, congratulations, you look amazing. I, I have absolutely no faults on that at all. You look nope. fantastic. And if you keep going that way, yeah. you'll be a serious contender in this competition. Okay. So Thank keep at so it. Thank you so much. Okay. I mean, the hard thing is here, we've got 13 girls, more than half of them could probably model. But who is the top model? Let's start with who was amazing. Elise is definitely in the top for me. For me, I think Karis looks particularly beautiful oh, yeah. in, in this um, shot. See, one of, my, one of my top girls is, is Demelza. I mean, in, in this shot especially, she looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she does. So it brings us to Layden, who has not surprised safe. me. Safe for me. Not I think safe. Layden's... I, want, safe I really want to see. Safe for me. First of all, that... The hair has to change uh -huh. before he can really say it's anything. It's Herman Munster. It's just <laughs> it's a couple so of bolts in there. So from Herman Munster. It's so Munster. close to Herman Munster. It's, it's so not far funny. from her. I can't even believe you'd yeah. say it that. She's exquisite. It is a block. It, it, There's a block on her I'll head. I'll show you Monster <laughs> in a minute, buddy. She's beautiful. You know that when we asked the girls about who they thought were definitely in the top, the two names that continued to come up were Emma and Christy. And as far as I'm concerned, those two are right at the bottom of the pile. For me, they are not safe. Yep, I agree totally, particularly Emma. I mean, Christy's confident. I just don't think she's that special. Sam is not safe in my eyes, only because I just don't think she's got what it takes. I'm not sure that she's a model. And maybe just too singular in her look. The other one that concerns me in the same way is Camilla. You know, I think she's a very pretty girl, same sort of thing, but there's really, knock knock, there's no one at home. Alamella. In the safe or not safe? I'd like to see her safe. I wouldn't say she's safe because, I mean, really, at the end of the day, are you, are you going to put her up there, you know, on an international stage and say, this is the girl? So do we all agree? No, not really. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it because that's the way it is. Well, girls, unfortunately, one of you is heading home today. But one of you excelled this week and won the ultimate prize, exemption in this week's elimination. So Elise, please come forward. Congratulations, you are still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Well done, sweetie. <laughs> Demelza. You know what you need to work on. If you don't fit the clothes, you won't get the job. Well done. Alamella. Alamella, we see real potential in you, but we just want to see you let go. You're going to need to make sure that your body is as strong as your face if you want to win this competition. Well done. Layden. <laughs> Layden, you need to work on finding your best angles and your most flattering body shapes. Thank you. Thanks. Belinda. You do have a long way to go, but we're excited about what we're going to see. Well done. Alex. You brought confidence and an air of elegance to your photo shoot, but we lost it in your face. You need to work on getting a range of expressions. Well done. Christy. 
there is a tightness in your face that's letting you down. But we think there's a lot more to come from you. Thank you very much. Jamie. You have some work to do by staying out of the sun, for one thing. <laughs> a bit like a pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? Congratulations, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Thank you. Rebecca. <laughs> the judges aren't convinced that you're a real contender, but we are interested to see if you can improve. Samantha. The judges are not sure how far you will be able to make it in this competition. There is a lack of sparkle, which you will need if you want to make it further. This was not your best work, but we'd like to give you another chance to see how you go. But well done. Emma and Camilla, please step forward. All the judges agree that you are a beautiful girl, but it's not translating photographically. Your lack of confidence is apparent in your photographs and it will hamper your progress. Camilla, there is a sparkle in your eyes when you stand in front of us, but that's useless if we can't see it in the photo. To be a model, you need to connect with the camera. It's more than being just a really pretty girl. There has to be something behind the eyes. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack her belongings and leave the competition immediately. Emma, congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Thank you. Camilla, I'm sorry, darling. Your journey ends here. But you've been great and you're so gorgeous. Thanks. Lovely, lovely having you. Thank you. Nice meeting everybody. Good luck. Thank you. I have no idea why I was eliminated. I'm really shocked to be the first girl to leave. Anything I thought that I, I would win, <laughs> that didn't happen. I will consider modelling maybe one day. I don't know when that day will come, but maybe I will. The future holds me finishing uni and getting my degree in law and international business. I think Elise has a really good chance of winning, but then again, I think anybody could win. After the show, chat online live with tonight's evictee, Camilla. Next week on Australia's Next Top Model, Hello Sailor. Who'll go overboard? You don't flash your knickers to a bunch of sailors. And who'll be dead in the water? I was absolutely packing myself. So, what do last year's girls think of the fresh meat? So pissed off. Never got anything like that when we were there. With new girls comes new dramas and new secrets. Everyone just went nuts. In the wildest season of Australia's Next Top Model, next Tuesday, 7.30, exclusive to Fox 8.